Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we are going to be building this police station. The police station is a build that a lot of you have been requesting for an extremely long time, and I've tried it out a couple times and never been able to get a build that I could that I really liked until now. So here it is. We've got brick, we've got quartz, we've got blue wool to show that it's a police station. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is lay out the wall. So we're going to go one, two, three, four with quartz blocks. And then we're going to go with a gap of three in between one, two, three, four, just like that. Put down an upside down quartz stair and a quartz slab connecting them. Behind that, we're going to go ahead and put in white stained glass blocks just like that we'll knock out these three and replace them with coarse dirt on top of which we're going to put oak leaves okay now on top of the glass blocks and going all the way over we're going to put blue wool then right here we're going to put a row of quartz uh slabs like this actually you know what i'm sorry i made a mistake the blue wool goes on top of the quartz right here there we go so we'll put the quartz slabs down, and on top of that, we're going to put another row of quartz slabs. So we should have something that looks just like this. Now, we're going to go ahead, and we are going to select that whole thing. And I'm going to copy it. And then I will paste it right here. And that will give us a wall section. Now, we are going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And go one more. And paste it again. So we should have a gap of 6 in between those. Then we'll paste it one more time right here. And then I'm going to rotate it by 270 degrees. Come to right here. And paste it again. And again and again so we're going to have three of these wall sections on the sides now we're going to go ahead and rotate it one more time oh slash slash rotate 270 and then we will paste it and paste it okay so these should now line up and then once again, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. And while standing right here, we're going to paste, paste, rotate to 70. And then, oh, rotate uh, 180. And then if we paste that, nope, that's derped up. Undo that. Rotate. 270 and now we should be able to paste it right there yeah 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 okay now we're good paste it and paste it one final time and there we go we have those sections of the wall complete now because we were pasting them uh using world edit there's a few little minor things that need to be cleaned up so let's do that right quick like so we'll leave the middle section Blue wool needs to go in there and right here. And then I think we'll probably have to fix, yep, a couple of these stairs are derped up. We also need to replace the, that is normal dirt. I need coarse dirt. There we go. That's better. That one's fine. This is fine. This one's derpy. That stair needs to be replaced. Uh, there we go. And like so. And that looks good. Okay, awesome. Now, right here, we're going to take quartz pillars. And we're going to run them up. Like so. Just like that. We're going to take our blue wool and bring it across. So it connects around that whole thing. We'll take our quartz slabs and bring those across as well. And then once we've got that finished, now we can start working on our 
arch. So we want this quartz block to extend up like so. So these quartz pillars are a total of seven high. Then we'll take upside down quartz stabs on top of the quartz stairs. I said slabs, I meant to say stairs. On top of the stairs, we'll put slabs going over, up, over, up, and like so. So we should have a shape like this, okay? On this side, uh, actually, let's just leave that alone for now. And let's go ahead and copy this all the way to right here. And we'll go copy. Then we want to rotate it by 180 degrees. And we want to paste it right there. So that way it matches up on all sides, which is exactly what we want. Okay. Now, ooh, I just noticed that I missed one right here. Fix that. And that means that you're messed up too. There we go. All right, so now that we've got that done, it's time to put in the floors. So we're going to select this whole area right here and replace that with white stained clay, okay? Now this, I think, hmm, let's leave this alone for now. We might mess with that later, but let's go ahead now and put in the second story. And the first thing we're going to want to do is put another layer of quartz on top of all of this. So we'll go walls. I believe it's 155. Yes. Excellent. Good, good, good. Okay. So we got that going. We got this all fixed up. And then we need some brick. And brick is 45. And we're going to take the brick and we're going to go up one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And over here, like this. And walls, 45. There we go. So we get something that looks like that. Okay, next we'll take quartz slabs. And we're going to put those in from here to here. And those are 44, 7. And then we're actually going to do the same up on top right here. And sticking out, overhanging this top part by 1. And that will give us the roof right up there. Okay? So, so far, so good. Now we need to look at some details and things like that. First and foremost, let's go ahead and make our entrance way. And it's just going to be made out of brick like this. Then we'll go ahead and do the same right over here on this side, lining that up properly with the blue wool. And then let's go ahead and do I have clay? You know what? Let's just do this. We'll go here to about, I don't know, here or so, set clay. That should work. And then I'm going to take clay and put that in, sticking out this way as well. I'm not going to really worry about that side too much, uh, just because we already know what's there. Okay? Now, our pillar is right here. So, right here, we're going to build up pillars, just so it matches what's on the other side. Like that. Okay, and we'll take a quartz stair and a quartz stair, and that'll give us a little bit of a shape, which is what we want. Now I need prismarine lanterns, and we're just going to spam a few of these about so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. How am I doing for time? And we've got the cells on this side. Okay, so I'm doing all right for time. Could be worse. Oh, we need to do these as well. Like so. And stairs, stairs, like that. There we go. Now, these gaps between the windows, I'm going to go ahead and fill those in with regular quartz blocks because they look really, really derp otherwise, and we don't want things to look derp if we can avoid it. There we go. And then where those pillars meet up with the ceiling, I'm going to go ahead and put 
quartz stairs. But only on this side, okay? Because the other side is going to be the jail cells. And then you would go there and you would go here. And that looks... That looks all right. Okay, now we need to put in our jail cells. So we're going to take quartz blocks and run these up. And we're going to kind of lay out the framework for the jails. So let's do that. And that looks pretty good. I think we also want some quartz blocks to come across here and here. So basically these lines are meeting up with these pillars. Okay. Now I'm going to use world edit just to make this a little faster, but we are going to fill those in with iron bars like so. And like so. There we go. There we go. All right, so we got that done. Now we need to open up actual space for the jails because you need to be able to actually get into the jail cells. So we'll do that and then we'll connect the iron bars over. And then right here, we're gonna put a light in there and a light in there. In the jail cells, we'll count in one from the edge and put in double lights, just like that, because we want this all to be nice and lit up so we can keep an eye on the prisoners. There we go. All right, so we got that part done. Let's get rid of these lights that are lying on the ground. And starting right here, matching up with where these lines go, we're going to put in a light, leave a gap of two, put in a light, leave a gap of two, put in a light, leave a gap of two, put in a light, just like that. And we will do the other, the same thing on the other side as well. And I messed that up. Get, get in there. There we go. There we go. Okay. So you got that all done. Now I want to make sure that I finish the exterior of the building before I start diving into the desks and office space. So we're going to put a couple of dark oak doors there. We're going to grab some stone buttons and put those on top. I'm gonna put a couple of bushes here and here. And then we're gonna repeat that same thing on this side as well. So buttons there just for a little bit of something to make it a little more interesting. Um, and then we need white glass panes and we're gonna start them directly to the right of this pillar. Leave a gap and a pane, okay? And then from these sides, we're gonna count one, two, Put in a window there, so one, two, like so. And then we're gonna do the same over here, like that. And, oh, wait a minute. There we go. And right there, okay. Oh, I missed windows, I missed windows over here. That's not good. Let's finish those. All right, there we go. That is the police station done as it is over there, but we still have about two minutes left. Oh, oops. I broke things. We still have some time left. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of interior decorating, not a whole lot. I'm going to grab dark oak. And I just need a block of some sort to put stuff up against. And we're just going to put in a couple of desks and I think I actually would like that desk better if it was right there so we'll put maybe a desk there and whenever I look at like police station I, I don't really spend a whole lot of time at the police station obviously whenever I look at them it often seems like the desks are kind of almost disorganized uh, just kind of randomly strewn about and it would be great if I could place things without breaking them there we go so we can do uh, this. This is not going to be a disorganized police station. I've decided this is a police station that has their stuff together. That is that is what I've decided. So then we'll take maybe a carpet and we'll just put a couple carpets on these like they're paper. 
We'll maybe grab some flower pots because one thing that I do know, if the police is anything like the military, it runs on coffee. So they all need their coffee. That's very important. And we've got our stuff going there. And then, you know what? I think I'm going to call that one done at 14 minutes and 41 seconds. So we've got ourselves a nice little police station. Let's take a look at the outside one more time. There you have it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.